Hey y'all, welcome back to Kinlan Bros Outdoors. Um, today I'm going to show you what to pack in your day pack. This is a Highlands Tactical Bag. Um, it's great. It's a very portable bag. Here, you can come here. I'm going to show you it. Get a little preview of that. It's a one strap backpack, so you don't uh, tire both of your shoulders. And uh, so today, like I said, I'm going to show you what I have in this pack and what to pack for like an emergency situation. Or this is a great bag just throw in your car, throw in your RTV, whatever. And just so you can go. And if you get lost, um, you will be able to survive. And this will last you probably about two, three days, maybe. The stuff I have packed in here. Alright. Uh, I need to shut up. Let's get to it. Alright. Um. This right here. Come closer, please. Uh, Corona saw. I made a little lanyard for it right there. So I can hold it. 10 inch blade. Perfect to cut down trees for making like a little uh, day shelter or like just to get you over the night. But this. This can definitely chop down bigger trees. Um, the blade is perfect on it. I really recommend this. Next object. Carabiners. Okay, these are black carabiners. Got them from Walmart. Work perfectly. Uh, these are not climbing carabiners, but they will hold anything you need it to. Except climbing. Alright. Come look at this. This right here is... Not Bucky's Mints, no. Kinley. And I just chopped in small pieces for emergency situations. Now let's see. Waterproof matches. Comes with 45 matches. I'm going to this way for sure. Let's see. And what you want is you want to have water, uh, shelter, Food and fire. That's what I get. Um, right here, you can see I have a, a magnifying glass, super bright to start fires. Um, if it's a sunny day, so I don't have to waste my other first, like other um, fire starting options. Um, some cards. Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, this right here, I'm gonna show you this pouch right here. I have some more. You see how it's organized in there? So this is a Settler's Wrench. I'll let y'all see it. Close up. You make like walls with this. So what you would do, you would screw this in the wood. And then you would, uh, the piece you want to fit, the, sorry, the piece of wood you want to fit into that piece you just drilled, you hit it with this on top, and it per fit perfectly. Next item. Paracord. So, this is one of the most important things to have when you're doing forts, or like, just to have in any bag. Because this could save your life. You can make snares, you can make, you could tie things together, you can make a bowstring if you even needed to. This is a really essential thing. Bleed stop. So if you, this is like would fall in the first aid category. So what you would do is if you got a cut, say it was a cut or a, a small cut or a bigger cut, doesn't matter. If you need this and you're having excessive bleeding, just just shake it on the wound and apply pressure, and then it should stop up within a few minutes. All right, next item. Oh yes, one of my favorites, fire starting items, UCO matches. Has a little striker right there. Waterproof match case. And then, oh, you, you see the matches? Perfect. Waterproof! Sorry, guys, I had to turn my hat backwards. Control the tools. Uh, control control. Alright, let's move back onto this. It's, it's, it's. I'm gonna have a lighter so I can live in luxury when I'm surviving. <laughs> Um, a knife, a Gerber knife. See that one there? Super nice. Got it at Walmart once again. 
my favorite sword. Alright. Huge Pharisee and Rod. Paracord Lanyard. Carabiner. Survival Whistle. Striker. And this is a survival fire starter. Cotton Wax. Toe warmers, hot hands, your feet tend to get cold when you're in camping or just camping out, and uh, perfect. These will warm your toes up just like butter. Alright, next thing. Last but not least, probably the most important thing in this bag, a Sawyer Squeeze. Water filtration system. This is one of the best water filtration systems on the market you can buy today. There's the squeeze in real life. Here's a pouch. I just made smaller. 32 ounces. Comes with a syringe to clean it. Um, comes with inline adapter so you can hook it up to like a camel back or something like that. And that's all I have in my day pack today, so see you on the next video.